Hey everyone, Corey from the Techies here, back with another video tutorial. It's been a while, but uh, we're back, and today we're going to be looking at a program called UF Raw. So it's a program that lets you do some basic editing for raw photographs. Um, in my case, I'm using EF files because I have a Nikon camera. So if you don't know exactly what this is, it's basically your um, camera will take a picture and you can either save it as a raw image or a like a JPEG. So this is specifically for DSLRs. I'm not completely sure about what point and shoots can do, but I use a DSLR most of the time. Um, I don't usually shoot in raw, but I know a lot of people do because the interesting thing about shooting raw versus JPEG is that JPEG is actually an approximation of color. Um, because it is a compressed file format versus a raw file format, which is the actual, all of the data that the um, image sensor actually sees. So um, I know a lot of people, especially in the professional realm, like to mess with raw images. Again, I don't do that because I'm not anywhere close to the professional realm, but there's a lot of freeware software out there um, you can use if you don't have things like Photoshop or Bridge and uh, Lightroom stuff like that and UF RAW is one of those programs so I have a raw image here that I'm just gonna go ahead and open up very simple interface just a basic fi file explorer initially you choose your image you go ahead and open it so in my case I'm using this picture of this uh, man who likes to tell us about his beliefs and make everyone feel bad. And we know these kind of people. Um, you know, bless them, I guess. So here we have our image. Um, down here we can see the size. This is 13, or sorry, 3322 by 4942. I actually took this um, portrait mode, uh, so that's why those are like that. But we can see here on the side, we have our color histogram, which if you don't know what that is, basically just shows a distribution of the color. Um, same with up here. And we can also uh, adjust those, adjust the um, hist color histogram uh, as you want. So I brightened it up a little bit. Actually, I didn't change it at all. You can brighten it up a little bit, like so. Um, we have a lot of um, options here so we have you can change your camera's white balance um, that uh, you know however you want to do it obviously if you use the DSLR you know about white balance um, basically uh, it, sh it chooses what is your whites and based off what your white is then it um, changes the colors of all the other colors or, or it sets the colors of all the other colors so you can change the temperature um, of the photograph the same with the greens um, and the multipliers, of course. And when we have our interpolation, which, um, if I understand correctly, it deals with demosaicing. So it's um, an algorithm, I guess, of how when the light enters the camera, hits the image sensor. This is a, an algorithm that determines the color. Um, so we have different types of uh, interpolation. Um, so <laughs> you go ahead and choose whatever you want. I I would never touch this, to be honest. Um, we have our uh, grayscale mode. So what kind of grayscale do you want? Very simply, um, you want to make it black and white. Go there, make it black and white. Uh, we have all of our um, photograph information, so the metadata, the type of camera I use, the type of lens, the focal length, the f-stop, uh, the distance. Um, for whatever reason, you can actually change this. Uh, you shouldn't need to, but if you have to, you can. And it should update um, the actual raw image there. Uh, we have color curves, camera curves, um, manual. Uh, you probably use this, again, to mess with the lightness, the contrast, um, stuff like that. And uh, okay. we have our color matrix, the color matrix and the um, RGB, the Adobe RGB, or the uh, standard RGB, of course, and we have our saturation curves. Um, this is an empty thing. I actually don't know what this tab is for, <laughs> so there's that. Um, and we have our, you know, aspect ratio, the um, size of the image itself. 
more uh, how you want to save the output path stuff like that and then more metadata so uh, it's a very simple program again I personally don't use raw images when I shoot I just save as JPEGs because I'm not doing anything too crazy but there's a lot of really good open source software such as this program which again is called UF raw and um, you don't have to use things like bridge and Lightroom necessarily so this uh, a couple other things about this program that's really cool is that it's an it can be used as a standalone but it was originally a plugin for GIMP so if you have GIMP which is um, an open source uh, Photoshop, which is also a very powerful program for what it is. Uh, you can install this as a plugin if you'd like. So you can have your, um, you can edit your raw images first, save them as JPEGs, and then get them web ready or print ready, stuff like that. So very easy to use um, program. You have your saves, your options down at the bottom. And um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm going to try to make a couple more. Um, open source kind of like um, flow charts or uh, workflows for photography obviously um, you know camera is expensive you can't really get around that but the uh, editing of it um, it can be done really cheaply and uh, actually turn out really nice so again thanks for watching guys this has been Corey from the techies if you have any questions about terms terminology stuff like that um, please post them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Again, thank you. This has been Corey.